I want all of you to know this was probably one of the most difficult vlogs I have ever made. Not only is it hard to admit failure to ourselves, but failure to others to, to face that hardest moment in my life I've experienced so far. It has been a hot minute since I have done an update video. The past week or so, no social media has actually been really lovely getting a break, but I am back now. Through this past week, conversations always with Scott, I've had some really big epiphanies that I wanna share and let you be the benefactor of my failures. This morning, I am going to have some hot water with some raw element. I'm working on getting rid of coffee out of my diet and seeing how this is gonna go. And I like using the element because it's got the sodium, magnesium, potassium in it. Plus, we know it doesn't have any junk in it. And it helps with the headaches, cramps, fatigues, and things like that that go with having low electrolytes. Right now, Element's offering an eight pack sample pack free with any purchase. You just need to go to drinkelement.com forward slash carnivorous me. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash carnivorous me. I've been struggling for the past five months. And I know a lot of you probably have seen it. Obviously, Rosie died about eight and a half months into my journey. And I didn't realize how much that rocked my foundational belief in myself. Uh, it hurt. I have plenty of videos where I am obviously crying about it. And I still too, I still do to this day. I mean, I just, I lost my soul dog. But Scott and I were talking yesterday and I kind of discovered that I have been living in a house with an eroded foundation for the past few months. And I haven't been willing to go into the basement and see and look because it would require that I face a fundamental shift in my view of the world. And as humans, we don't like doing that, do we? We have a view of the world and when the world shakes it, sometimes we have a very visceral response to it and we'll deny, deny, deny. I've been struggling with consistency, with belief in myself, with motivation, with just my will. And Scott helped me discover that what it is, is I had designed this belief that if I followed carnivore, if I worked out, worked hard, did all these things, I could make Rosie healthier and live longer. And then she abruptly died. <laughs> and that just eroded the foundation of the belief in myself. Because if I can't even save my dog, how could I have an impact on the world? And I've been avoiding seeing that. I've been avoiding admitting that to myself, that I lost belief in myself. That the view of my world had gotten completely pulled out from underneath my feet and it wasn't the way I thought it would be. Imagine that. <laughs> but I finally have faced it and I've realized that there's two options. I continue down the path that I'm headed, which is apathy, eventually eating bad and unhealthy again, which leads to sickness, depression, a slow version of suicide. But what makes it even worse is making my amazing husband suffer through that. Watching me slowly kill myself or rewriting the view of how I view my world and view myself and go with a complete different option. Because at this point, that those are the options that exist for my life. And he had me reread Atomic Habits Chapter 2 again. And 
we really fundamentally have big changes from the inside out, not the outside in. Fake it till you make it never did anything for me because I knew it was fake. But how do we change the inside? How do we change how we believe in ourselves? And it's through the small actions, by doing the small things that reinforce who we think we are. We first start off by trying to figure out who we want to be. I want to be someone that positively impacts the world. Someone that maintains empathy and compassion for people. And understanding and the willingness to listen. That is who I want to be. Who I am right now is someone that feels just like I'm in a dark place that I feel like I'm lacking integrity. I feel like a fraud. And that is not where I wanna be. Nowhere near that in any way, shape or form. The easiest way to say it is, I wanna be the Amanda full of integrity. And that's not where I'm at. But how we get there is by the choices we make with the small things. Every time I make a decision to lay in bed an extra hour or two because it's just an apathetic kind of morning is re reinforcing that view of who I think I am, that I'm not worth it, that there's no reason to keep going forward versus the Amanda that chooses the small things like getting up even when she doesn't want to. That choosing, choosing, not being forced to, choosing my well-being versus the momentary everything is good right now because I'm eating something bad. That's how we do it. So come join me. If you are been suffering on and off and struggling, come join with me. Let us be each other's support. Because this is not an easy road. What's easy is to show where you started and then where you're at, not the in-between. And that that's what my channel is all about, is sharing the in-between. The good, the bad, the ugly, the difficult. Because the journeys, they're not smooth. And if they are, they weren't, <laughs> they weren't daunting enough to actually change who you were. To change who we are. Nothing in life that is simple has much value. It just doesn't. It's through the rough and tumbled, the tripping, the scraping, the bleeding, the hair falling out that we go from a piece of coal compressed into a diamond to then chipped and shaped and polished into a beautiful gem. And that's how we get there together. I want all of you to know this was probably one of the most difficult vlogs I have ever made. Not only is it hard to admit failure to ourselves, but failure to others. To, to face that hardest moment in my life I've experienced so far and be able to admit I do not have the power that I think I do. That her life is in God's hands, not mine. I appreciate you guys so much for taking the time to listen. I hope you've gotten something out of this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The whole point of my channel is to make you a benefactor of my failures plus the triumphs to encourage and inspire and motivate along the way. I appreciate you so very much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.